Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, my out-of-state client has gone home now, and we looked at a lot of pre-existing homes, and we're kind of shifting gears a little bit because he's kind of he's considering building from dirt. So now we're going to do some lot shopping, and we got two lots today that we're going to be videoing that's caught his eye. So I want to give him more information about it. So we're out at Vintage Oaks. The first lot we're looking at today is 1728 Chardonnay. It's a one-acre lot on a cul-de-sac. Let's go check it out. All right, it definitely does have a bit of a drop off from the street. We're at the low point of this cul-de-sac. The uh, main amenity center is right around the corner from us, but this is a quiet part of the community. It is on the uh, required to have your own propane tank buried. So uh, if you did want to have gas, this does not have natural gas to it. Uh, you got a neighbor's house right there that was built by Vintage Luxury Homes but uh yeah let's walk down here um you do have kind of a drainage thing running it's hard to see right now but you would need to put a culvert in it to kind of go over it and the west is kind of back here on the back part of the property here's the drainage space that you would have to have a little culvert going over and you can always get a little creative with this as far as a yard feature we looked at a few properties the other day where they were really getting uh, uh, creative with that. Let me step over here without dying. Uh, all right. But once you get past where this initial front dip is coming from the road, it does level off a little bit. You still have a slope from the front to the back. So no matter what, you are gonna have some steps going off the back of the property. It all depends on where you put the house at, but because this does pie out, you would need to uh, pull it back from the road just a little bit. All right, just kind of show you where we are on the map. There we go, look for the blue dot. We're kind of in the middle, but there's just so much space heading toward this back to where this open area is. That is gonna save you some money on clearing trees for where you put the house at. And you do have some nice oaks uh, on the edge of it already, which you always want. But just kind of checking out the property, walking back here a little bit. Here's where we are uh, on the map now, kind of toward the center but this is really flattened off right here. If you did decide to use this kind of as your build site, we do got these oak trees right here. So it would be a little bit of a driveway coming from the street. You see my truck up there quite a bit coming back here, but this is the wide spot of the build site. Let me walk around these trees a little. I'm going to go ahead and walk all the way up to the edge of the property line. Alright, it is getting wider as we get further back here. Alright, I'm kind of almost on the property line edge right now. Show you where we are on the map. And it kind of goes back further this way. So you still got these trees here on the edge of the property. And you kind of see my truck off in the distance there. This tree is definitely right on the edge of the property line. And going back. So all of this that you see to my left is on the property because I'm kind of walking down the property line here. tripping over some rocks. There are some rocks out here. And we're gonna go on all the way back to the back part because it does look like it drops off toward the very end back here. And frankly, I'm kind of curious to see what's back this way. All right, this is where we are on the property right now. So this is kind of the back corner of it. 
and you do have a little bit of a pretty good drop rock cliff drop off area I don't see any water in there but definitely gives you some nice sense of privacy back here oh there's some water back there but that is a pretty good drop off from the back part of the property and that's okay because we're already kind of at the edge of the property anyways right, I'm gonna go ahead and walk up the back edge of this property line because you see as we are right now that red line on the back of it kind of goes right next to where that uh, good 10 15 foot drop off is into uh, the drainage area no worries about flooding because that's just going to be community drainage and it's definitely not going to go up and up that 15 foot cliff there but it is kind of neat having that off the back of your property all right now i'm heading up oh, i'm still on the back of the property line all right let's me head on back up towards the middle of this property So yeah, what you're seeing right now would kind of be the backyard of the property, which is still quite level. So it is pretty nice if you wanted to put a pool back here. You definitely could do that, even if you had to pull your house back quite a bit. Here's some construction noise in the background, but that's what happens. They are still building here in Vintage Oaks. All right, the property line still goes back here quite a ways, but you can see you got plenty of space right here. I'm not sure about these oak trees right there, if they would still be there. It all depends on getting with a the builder, them doing a lot fit for the house to see just which trees would have to stay. And it all depends on what my client's uh, house plan is gonna look like. All right, here's the current community drainage thing that's going to be pretty much the border of his property going up and then back up to my truck. So yeah, that's someone else's property right there. And you can see we got some more nice little oak trees kind of will be the back edge of the property. All right, that's going to do it for the tour of 1728 Chardonnay. On to the next lot. All right, we're on our second lot. The address is going to be 289 Canyon Glade. We're closer to the 2722 side of the community. So yes, you do have natural gas, you're on a cul-de-sac. If you can see behind me, this lot does need some clearing work on it. As of early August, the seller's asking 200,000 for this lot. Let's go check it out. The first lot was right at one acre. This one is 1.23 acres, so one and a quarter acres. Um, everything on this cul-de-sac has already been built out. Uh, talked to the listing agent. They said they are talking to somebody else uh, as possibly interested in this lot. So uh, yeah, we've got to move a little quicker. This lot has only been on the market for five days. And just looking at the topo map, I was like, man, this looks pretty flat. And kind of getting an idea um, because we're in Crawl Through the Woods there. It does look pretty flat going back on that side and also basing on the neighbors on this side that looks pretty darn flat going back there as well so yeah let's go and crawl on back in the woods it does pie out from the front to the back so uh yeah i'm gonna try to find a place to go and let's see what's on back here i think i'm gonna try walking down the right hand part of the lot just because this does look a little more clear 
And if I can find a way to get into this brush, I certainly will. But what you need to look for are things like big oak trees kind of sticking out and definitely can see those. But just judging by, like I said, flatness, um, a lot of there's a lot of underbrush through here that would need to be cleared out. We're talking about cedar trees. This is when you see this bark like this, that's definitely a cedar. They do suck up quite a bit of water and uh, yeah, people have no problem clearing those out. But you can kind of see what this lot would look like if it was cleared out a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna still keep trying to find my way. And if you're watching this and you are looking for a real estate agent that will do things like this for you, uh, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I don't have too many realtors that will crawl through the woods for their clients, but that's one of those things I do because uh, I wanna provide all the information possible. All right. Remember this is a one and a quarter acre lot, so it's gonna go quite a ways back here. I'm trying to show as much as I can while looking for a way to get through without getting onto other people's properties. But one of the things that is nice is you see this big, beautiful oak tree is on the edge of the property. So no matter how big of a house you put on this, this oak tree would still be there. Any kind of one, a nice little separation from you and your client, be your neighbors. A little duck dodging and weaving here. All right, I think I see an opening. Let's head into this property and you can tell this is still quite flat back here. Let's see where we are on the property lines. All right, well, let me get that down. Okay, we're getting kind of back corner-ish of the property. So all of this is on the build site. There's a better picture of it right there. And you can see this is really, really flat. And if you're looking to build a pool back here, which my client is talking about doing, you have to clear out some stuff up here to make it, to put your house. And this would be just a really cool spot to have a pool. And you could always clear out some of these other trees to give you, because there's really nothing behind here. The, there are some houses back there, but they're pulled back quite a ways as well. Let's see if I can make it to the other side. Cause it's hard to tell going through there, but you can see some, like I said, the oak trees on the perimeter, which is really what you like. There's another beautiful oak tree looks like on the perimeter on this side and these as well i'm actually really quite excited about this lot and by the way west is kind of this way so the sun will kind of go across the property it doesn't come in and just kind of melt your face uh, well frankly this time of year and this time of the day as i'm filming it's 3 30 and we're mid-August 2024. Okay, the neighbors have clearly marked where their property line is with their stone. And there it is right there. We're at the edge of the property line. It goes back here a little bit further, but not much. But you can see you've got this big pie of a place out in front of us to build on. And uh, I do like this lot quite a bit because it's a pretty nice flat area once you clear out some of these trees and those some nice oak trees back up here also on the edge. If we look back here, I don't know if you can really see through there. If you cleared out too much of this stuff, you can see hints of some houses back behind you there. So I'd clear it out some, but I would kind of leave some of this stuff up just for some privacy. But like I said, they're on there. Let me see if I can get back here. Let me see if I can see the people's house from the back part of this lot. Where am I at? I'm kind of right at the back corner of the lot, well, the back edge. So, all right. 
I am right at the back part of the property line and still they've left some stuff up on the back of their property line as well. So you're really not gonna have uh, neighbors peeking in at you at all. Let me click through here. But you wouldn't have an additional cost on this lot for, for billing, putting a propane tank in, but you would have more cost for clearing out these trees here because man that is really thick so it kind of offsets each other whether or not you're burying a propane tank or clearing spaces but uh man i do like this lot you just have enough vision to see what it would look like with those trees being cleared because yeah this is a really nicely done flat lot and easy to build on all right, that's going to do it for the lot tour of 289 Canyon Glade. Remember, this is one and almost a quarter of an acre lot. Been on the market for just five days now. I don't think it's going to be on the market much longer. Anyways, if you like this video tour, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family. And if someone's moving to the Texas Hill Country area, and they don't already have a real estate agent they're working with, I'll be happy to help them out. All right, that's going to do it for now. Take care now. Bye.